in some cases you might want to customize the template.php file. In this case you should not actually change the template.php file. Instead, make a copy out of it and rename it. If you give it the name custom.php, Write will know that there is an override for the template.php file in the custom.php file and it will simply read that one. There can be many reasons to customize the template.php file. So let's look at two common scenarios. The first one is that we need an extra row of modules because the two rows above the main content are not enough for us. We need a third one. And another very common scenario is that you, that you simply need to include your Google Analytics code. If you look at the demo, you see that we have a grid top module and a grid top two, but there can be reasons when you need a third one or, even, or maybe even more. And to do so, we simply update our custom.php file. Here we are. Now let's look up the row for the grid top modules. Here is the menu, the featured one, the grid top and the grid top two. To add a row, let's place it in between. We simply copy the existing code for the grid top module. Then add it over here. And let's call it grid top extra. We need to change it in two locations. And make sure to save it. Then, in order to be able to use the template position and to be able to select it within our modules, we need to add it to our template details.xml file. So open it with your editor. Then go to the template positions which is here, and add an additional line for the extra grid top module. Then again, save it. Now, if you now go to the backend of your Joomla website and pick a module, and I created one called grid top extra, you should be able to select it from the right template positions, and indeed, we see it over here. And also on the front end, when we refresh the page, you see that we now can use our new module position. One thing you may have noticed is that right uses a W module tag. And in the Joomla core way of things, this would be a JDoc include for the module position. Now both tags more or less do the same and you can still use the normal Joomla one. But since we are inside right, I would advise you to simply use the right way of doing things. You can use them easily enough by copy and pasting. The second scenario is to simply add your Google Analytics tracking code. Well, this should be placed in the head of your website and you can simply paste it. And if you then save your changes, this tracking code will be used inside your website. And you can do more or less the same with other tracking codes or JavaScript samples. So feel free to change as much as you want. You can't go wrong because if the website doesn't work anymore, you simply remove your changes or remove the complete custom.php file, create a new copy from the template.php file and start all over. Also, if you update the right framework, all your changes will be kept because they are inside a file that is not in the right update 